Hey everybody, Linus here. Today we're diving into the world of website security with a cool tool called WebCheck. Ever wonder how secure your website really is? Or what kind of information attackers can find out about it? WebCheck is like having your own team of internet detectives digging up everything there is to know about a website and its potential vulnerabilities. We're going to walk through how it works, what kind of information it can uncover, and how you can use it to keep your own online presence locked down tight. So, let's get started. WebCheck is a free, open-source tool that lives in a Docker container. This means it's highly portable and can be easily deployed across different environments without any hassle. Think of it like a self-contained app you can run on your computer without messing with complicated installations. No need to worry about dependencies or conflicts with other software on your system. You give it a website address and it goes to work, scanning and analyzing everything about that site. It's like having a personal cybersecurity expert at your fingertips, working tirelessly to ensure your site is secure. It does this by using a technique called OSINT, which stands for Open Source Intelligence. OSINT leverages publicly available data to gather insights and information. Don't worry, we'll talk more about that in a bit. OSINT is a powerful method used by both security professionals and malicious actors alike. The cool thing is that WebCheck gathers all sorts of information that's publicly available, stuff that anyone could find with the right tools and knowledge. This includes data from social media, public records, and other online sources. This means you can use it to see your website through the eyes of a potential attacker. You'll get a comprehensive view of your site's vulnerabilities. You'll see what they see, understand the risks they might target, and be able to take steps to protect yourself before they even try anything funny. By proactively identifying and addressing these vulnerabilities, you can significantly enhance your website's security posture. OSINT, or Open Source Intelligence, might sound complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. It's all about gathering information from publicly available sources. Think social media posts, public records, blog comments, and even stuff like website code and server configurations. Now you might be thinking, why would I care about this? Well, here's the thing. Attackers use OSINT all the time to find vulnerabilities and plan their attacks. They can use it to discover things like IP addresses and server locations. This can give them a physical location to target. Software versions and vulnerabilities, outdated software is an open invitation for hackers. Employee names and contact information, social engineering attacks often start with a friendly face. By using OSINT yourself, you can get ahead of the game. You'll see the same information that attackers are looking for, allowing you to fix problems and strengthen your defenses. All right, enough talk. Let's see WebCheck in action. For this example, we'll use the website example.com. It's a simple site, but it'll give us a good overview of how WebCheck works. Once you have WebCheck up and running, using it is as easy as typing in the website address and hitting enter. WebCheck will immediately start gathering information, and you'll see the results pop up in your browser. The analysis process can take a few minutes, depending on the complexity of the website and the speed of your internet connection. But trust me, it's worth the wait. You'll be amazed at the amount of information WebCheck can dig up. Section 5. Understanding the Results IP and Location Once the analysis is complete, you'll be presented with a detailed report that breaks down all the findings. One of the first things you'll see is information about the website's IP address and location. An IP address is like a website's home address on the Internet. WebCheck will tell you the website's IP address as well as the country, region, and sometimes even the city where the server is located. This information is important because it can help you understand the physical infrastructure behind a website. It can also be useful for identifying potential risks, such as websites hosted in countries with lax security regulations. Section 6 Decrypting SSL Certificates with WebCheck Next up we have SSL certificates. These are like digital passports for websites. They encrypt the connection between your browser and the website, protecting your data from being intercepted by bad guys. WebCheck will show you if a website has a valid SSL certificate when it expires and who issued it. It'll even give you a grade for the certificate based on its strength and security features. If a website has an invalid or expired certificate, that's a huge red flag. 
It means your data might not be protected, and you should be very careful about entering any personal information online. Section 7, Tech Stack Exposed, What's Under the Hood? Ever wonder what technologies a website is built with? WebCheck can tell you. It analyzes the website's code and identifies things like Content Management System, or CMS, such as WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, programming languages like PHP, Python, JavaScript, and so on, web server software such as Apache, Nginx, and more. Knowing this information can be incredibly valuable for both developers and security professionals. Developers can get a better understanding of how a website is built, while security professionals can identify potential vulnerabilities associated with specific technologies. For example, if you see that a website is running an outdated version of WordPress, you know that it might be vulnerable to known exploits. Section 8, Security Checkup, Finding the Weak Links. Of course, no security analysis would be complete without a dedicated security checkup. WebCheck runs a series of tests to assess the website's security posture. These tests might include checking for things like common vulnerabilities and exposures or CVEs. These are publicly disclosed security flaws that could be exploited by attackers. Misconfigured security headers, which are special instructions that websites can send to browsers to improve security. And directory listing vulnerabilities where a website accidentally reveals the contents of its folders, potentially exposing sensitive information. The results of the security checks will be displayed in a clear and concise manner, allowing you to quickly identify any areas that need attention. Section 9, Troubleshooting Web Check, Common Errors and Fixes. Web Check is generally very reliable, but like any software, you might encounter errors from time to time. Don't worry, though. Most errors are easy to fix. One common error is missing API key. Some features of Web Check, like checking for vulnerabilities, require API keys from third-party services. These keys are free to obtain, and Web Check will provide you with instructions on how to get them. Another common error is connection refused. This usually means that the website you're trying to analyze is blocking web checks requests. You can try using a proxy server or a VPN to bypass this. If you encounter any other errors, be sure to check out the web check documentation for troubleshooting tips. Section 10, setting up your own web check lab with Docker. All right, ready to get your hands dirty and set up web check on your own machine? This guide will walk you through the process step by step. It's surprisingly easy thanks to Docker. Docker simplifies the process by creating isolated environments for your applications. Docker lets you run WebCheck in a self-contained environment, so you don't have to worry about messing up your system. This means you can experiment freely without any risk. First, you'll need to download and install Docker for your operating system. Whether you're on Windows, MacOS, or Linux, Docker has you covered. Then you can grab the WebCheck image from Docker Hub, which is like a giant library of Docker containers. Docker Hub hosts a variety of pre-configured images for different applications. Once you have Docker in the WebCheck image, you can start a new WebCheck container with a simple command. This command will pull the image and set up the container for you. The WebCheck documentation has detailed instructions for all operating systems. Make sure to follow the steps closely to avoid any issues. Trust me, if I can figure it out, you can too. It's all about following the instructions and taking it one step at a time. And once you have WebCheck running locally, you'll have even more control over its settings and features. You can customize it to fit your specific needs and preferences, making your WebCheck's more efficient and tailored to your workflow. Section 11, WebCheck in Action, Comparing Websites and Finding Vulnerabilities. Now that you're a WebCheck Pro, let's dive deeper and analyze another website to compare the results with what we've seen before. This time, we'll use a fictional online store called TechShop.com as our test subject. As you can see, WebCheck reveals that TechShop.com has some significant security issues that need immediate attention. It's running an outdated version of its e-commerce platform, which is a major red flag. Additionally, its SSL certificate is about to expire, which could compromise user data. These vulnerabilities make it a prime target for attackers who are always on the lookout for easy prey. By comparing the results of multiple website analyses, you can gain a comprehensive understanding of the threat landscape. 
This helps in identifying which websites need the most urgent attention and resources. WebCheck is an incredibly powerful tool for anyone who wants to take website security seriously. It offers detailed insights and actionable recommendations. It's easy to use, packed with features and completely free, making it accessible for everyone from beginners to experts. So what are you waiting for? Go give it a try and see what vulnerabilities you can uncover and fix to make the web a safer place.